wearing basically Manal's wardrobe. This is the only thing that's mine. This is hers. This is hers. This is hers. My pants are also from her wardrobe. Since I lost weight and all, why not enjoy my youth through her by wearing her clothes? Because I can fit into it. Anyway, cut. Hey guys, what's up everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I thought I'd do a different type of video and I want to do this video on skincare because I've been doing a lot of DIYs, home remedies, throughout quarantine for my skincare and my hair care and my body care, the whole nine yards actually. So I thought why not make a detailed video of what has really really helped me over this period of time. I wanted to tell you guys about this amazing miracle ice cubes I've been making at home rice rose water some of this mixture which is called a royal mixed turmeric it has all these essential oils like olive oil coconut oil palm oil sesame oil turmeric honey nigella and soda water this is supposed to be used alone on your face three times a week made in Lebanon amazing it looks it looks weird it smells a little weird the texture is also again a little sticky and weird but it is miracle miracle in a jar working so well with that rice puree and the rose water is just normal rose water from the store cost me like a dollar ninety nine or maybe even less but it works just as fine you guys <laughs> i cannot tell you enough how beautiful my skin looks without makeup i'm actually going to show you the whole procedure almost one cup this one cup of rose water i'm going to add in a little bit of this add in this special mix probably one tablespoon okay half the one and a half and a little bit of water What I usually do is I rub the ice cube all over my face beginning with the under eyes and I go all the way up to my neck and then I let it sit on my face for 15-20 minutes until it's dried and then when I come to wash it off I kind of give myself a nice scrub. almost feel that it's a puree so it, it is a little bit grainy, it has small particles, nothing too harsh smooths out everything on your skin and I love it and I'm gonna continue doing it for as long as I can <laughs> my skin looks even there's a glow to it I am amazed by the skincare routine with the rice puree it is a miracle I tell you even store-bought Branded things haven't given me this kind of result. Bye. It also has helped in draining out the under eyes because I used to have puffiness. Mainly, I used to have puffiness. Puffiness? Puffiness. I used to have puffiness right under my eye just here because it helps right in the morning to do a lymphatic drainage for the face, which is like evening out everything the poofiness goes down and you look a lot de-bloated you look alive and just awake and it just feels so rejuvenating and relaxing right in the morning when i wake up it's become a part of my daily morning routine i enjoy it so much because it's that me time right in the morning and it feels good i would highly recommend that you guys try it out and it's so affordable to make 
so easy to make and once you make it because I made it in a batch and it it made around quite a lot of ice cubes the, and one cube is enough to use on your face I had a lot of time during quarantine so I've gotten used to making these things at home and now I actually have a day where I take the time out to make these things and store it in the fridge which helps me to take care of myself over time anyway guys if you made it so far into the video you know you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna tell you to subscribe and comment and share hit that subscribe button if you like what you see if you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one bye you know what my closing tagline is don't forget to take care of yourselves so you can take care of others I love it I made that up myself after like two months of actually thinking of what should I say what should it be I still don't have a name for all my subscribers if I do get you know out there with my YouTube videos I don't know what to call you guys because on Instagram I just call my Instagram people the gang or insta fame but what should I call you guys you're probably gonna be coming from Instagram to watch this video so yeah I'll think of a name Lily's Lola's warriors bad bitches no, no, cut that out. Um, yeah. But I like it. I don't know why I did not do this years and years ago when I first came online in 2011. Procrastinated and wasted all that time. Well, it's not really wasted. No regrets, no regrets. But quarantine has really taught me how to balance it out with social media and content creation. I can finally say I love the content that I put out there it's so me so authentic <laughs> look at me gassing myself up as if I don't have a big head already <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one